Good morning, uh, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today, we celebrate the Feast of Divine Mercy. And let us, in a very special way, offer each one of us, our family members, and all those who are struggling in the world right now, let us immerse them into the ocean of His mercy. In addition to that, the patron of Divine Retreat Center at Summers B is Divine Mercy. So we celebrate the feast of the center today. Also, we are completed seven years at Summers B because we started this center on 7th April 2013. So we completed already seven years at Summers B. At this time, when we celebrate today's Mass, we really thank God. Thank God for all that He has been to Divine Retreats and Summers Bay, and all His work upon this center, and all those that He performed here through using the priest and the family of Divine. Very specially, remembering every single one one or other way contributed to the growth of Divine Retreat Center, especially our volunteers, the family of Divine, and also all the benefactors, hundreds of people who are spiritually supporting us through their personal prayers and through their family prayers. Hundreds of people who are helping Divine through their financial support, whatever that you see at Divine, at a must be in Sydney, it's all from the generous hearts of the people of God. So when we celebrate today's Eucharist, we the priest of the sender, remember all those who are really connected with Divine Retreat Center, one or other way. Those who are connected from the day one till today, we remember them, their family members, so sincerely at the altar today, and we pray for them. So dear brothers and sisters, Thank God once again for this center and I request, I request so sincerely your prayers today for this center and the community uh, connected with this center and all the intentions of the center at must be. Thank you. Let us enter into the Holy Eucharist with proper devotion and decorum. Good day and God bless. The entrance and default. Like newborn infants, you must long for the pure spiritual milk that in him you may grow to salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us pause for a moment, offering all our prayers at the foot of the altar, all the intentions we just mentioned, a prayer for Divine Retreat Center and the family of Divine, also for our personal prayer intentions. We ask of the Lord, gift of repentance, to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins 
bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp the rightly, un the rightly understand and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The readings. First reading, reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole community remained faithful to the teachings of the apostles, to be brotherhood, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. The many miracles and signs worked through the apostles made a deep impression on everyone. The faithful all lived together and owned everything in common. They sold their goods and possessions and shared out the proceeds among themselves according to what each one needed. They went as a body to the temple every day but met in their houses for breaking of bread. They shared their food gladly and generously. They praised God and were looked up to by everyone. Day by day, the Lord added to their community those destined to be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love is everlasting. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. A response, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was thirst and thirst down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. A response, give thanks to the Lord for his good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. A response, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons. 
by raising Jesus Christ from the dead so that we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoiled or soiled and never fade away because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which had been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is a cause of great joy for you, even though you may for a short time have to bear being plowed by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like God. Only it is more precious than God, which is corruptible even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honor. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still without seeing him, you are already filled with a joy so glorious that it cannot be described. Because you believe and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward. That is the salvation of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me. Happy those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. <coughs> In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made. And unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing, believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, today being the Divine Mercy Sunday, let us reflect a few minutes on the passage we just read and the Divine Mercy we celebrate. Today, 
uh, Thomas, it's, it's a peculiar reading about Thomas, which we don't really see in other readings. So uh, Thomas was not there, and he is, he is so stubborn, ho adam, so adamant, that he wants to see Jesus, not just see Jesus, but he wants to touch the wounds, the side of Jesus pierced. So all that, and Jesus comes eight days later, and, and he addresses Thomas, Thomas, come here. Put your fingers in my wounds. Bring your hand, touch my wound on my side. I feel like something so, so loving Jesus here. He is even ready to, to, uh, to suffer for us again. Because those wounds that Jesus has, uh, it can get, you know, he's asking you touch the wound again. We know once we touch a wound again, what happens to us? It's painful a little bit. But here we find Jesus is ready again. My, my Thomas, come here. I'm ready to suffer for you. I'm ready to save you again. I don't want you to go away. Whatever your demands are, come here. So my dear sisters and brothers, this is where we find Jesus so loving, going to any extreme for us. We see that on the cross. And again, he is showing us again and again, going after the disciples to bring them back. The Emmaus episode, the disciples going for fishing, to bring them back. And the same thing we see when we reflect on the divine mercy of the Lord. It is coming to us not because we are worthy of it. It is coming to us not because we are worthy of it. When I was thinking about divine mercy, that, that word, mercy, M-E-R-C-Y, I felt like explaining it as mercy, M for meritless, E for empathy, R for realized through, and C for Christ, and Y for in you. So mercy, we can read meritless empathy of Jesus, uh, meritless empathy realized through Christ in you. The divine mercy is that. I'm, I'm not worthy of it. That's what we read in, in, um, uh, in Psalms 8. What is man, Lord, to be thought of? What is man that you are mindful of him? So it's, it's coming to us because of his love. And again, it's, it's empathy. Lord is actually a feeling with us, staying with us. That's what we read in Hebrew chapter 4 verses 15. We have a high priest who has gone through everything who can sympathize with you. He is not someone alien. He is with you. And we read in that, that beautiful passage, John chapter 3, 16, God sent his only son because of love. But so loved us, so he sent his son. And again, it is realized in Christ it is not somewhere, uh, uh, somewhere in the air as a, uh, 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 as a theory. It's realized in Christ. He died, as, died for us on the cross just because he loved us to save us. And that's what in 2015, April 11, uh, Pope Francis gave um, a papal bull uh, when, when we were celebrating that uh, special jubilee year of divine mercy. And uh, that was the, the bull, uh, the name was uh, the face of the mercy of the Lord. The face of the mercy of the Lord. Misericordia Vultus. And in that he explains so beautifully about the mercy of the Lord. And he says one thing, Jesus is the face of the mercy of the Father. Jesus is the face of the mercy of the Father. Because when you look at Jesus you know how merciful the Father is. And Jesus himself said, whoever sees me sees the Father. John chapter 14 verses 9. So that is, that is where we see. You look at the face of Jesus. You look at what our Jesus did. You see how merciful the Father is. So it's meritless, not because I am worthy. It is empathy. The Lord is feeling with me. And it is realized, it's real, it's realized through Christ and it is in you, personally coming to you. It is coming to you to save us and also to make us, make you an apostle of mercy. That's why Jesus said in, in Luke chapter 6, 36, 
that was the face of that was the motto of the uh, special jubilee of divine mercy be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful so we are all called to receive mercy and to be a channel of mercy to others those who are around us and in this special situation we are all apostles of mercy around all those who are around us in our words and our deeds so mercy meritless empathy realized through christ in you and one more thing i would like to add in the special situation divine mercy you appeal to the divine mercy for your protection and protection of the world we pray in the in the in the uh, eucharist celebration after the prayer in our father after the prayer our father we pray that deliverance prayer and in the deliverance prayer there is a mention of the divine mercy of the lord we pray in that uh, deliverance prayer deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress this is just a brothers let us entrust the whole world and ourselves to the merciful heart of the lord and we ask for protection appealing to the mercy of the lord as saint faustina would say immerse the souls immerse the world into the ocean of our lord's mercy let us pray Dear sisters and brothers let us proclaim our faith in the lord i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen dear sisters and brothers let us make all our prayers for the whole world our intercession we remember the holy catholic church pope francis all the bishops the clergy and all the people staying at home praying we pray lord let faith unite us let the spirit guide us to pray together 
We pray for the whole world, the protection of the world. We pray for all the impact happening around us, social, financial, a spiritual, mental impacts happening around us because of COVID-19. We remember all the agencies trying to find a cure for this disease. It's also for all our personal prayer and intentions. May let us also make a prayer for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center Samasbi. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this year temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit Rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, the renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at, high, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, especially on this feast day of divine mercy, Above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, you have rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory 
as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, He himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave, it to his, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, we, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Spirit may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lord, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, the of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of Thanks. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Jesus mercy Christ. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, it's a time of our spiritual communion, a special situation, wherever we are. We ask the Lord to come into our life in faith. We make this prayer to do the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and I pray unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Take a few moments for thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's bow our heads to receive the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner of this on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.